I'm Jeremy Renner. I'm Danai Gurira. I'm Chris Hemsworth. Am I looking at this one? That one. This is the most difficult thing. <laughs> I, I, think we're just, I think we're just making it. Any difficult. other Marvel movies? I'm Chris Hemsworth. And we're going to learn something about all the Marvel movies we've been in. First question is for Chris. When you and Hulk have your first big brawl, what was it like fighting a mostly CGI character? Yeah, yeah. You're more sort of shadow boxing your way through everything because you're swinging at nothing and but then you constantly someone's telling you, actually, we just looked at the frame and you've got to swing this much higher or this much lower and so on. So yeah, because this is the first Avengers, right? Yeah. So how did we, I don't remember how we did the I mean, that mo was, mocap right at that, that point. Yeah, right? no, there was no, well, there was going mm -hmm. to mocap for certain sections of the, right, of, of right. the fight. Right. And, you know, I'd grab him, choke him or whatever. So you're fighting air? Yeah, or he'd be standing in a box and I'd have him to be punching up and so right, on. And right. it's just very broken up and far more sort of technical than probably a normal fight scene, which right. you'd probably think was harder, but it was right, no. time consuming and <laughs> yeah, fighting yeah, exactly. nothing. Yeah. Jeremy. Yes. Had you ever worked with a bow before and how difficult was that training? In the first one? Oh yeah, no, never never touched a bow in my life. The yeah, compound bow has a lot of tension, it's like 50 pounds, 60 pounds. It's actually a left-handed bow, so it was the wrong hand. They had me in this bucket in the rain. It looked so ridiculous, but apparently they made me look like a superhero. I don't know how that worked, but... You're gonna have to help me with this one. <clears throat> how hard was learning to speak? How do you pronounce this? Gosa. Ooh, Gosa? Not bad. It's a very stunning language. It, it actually has figured out a way to create more consonants than most other languages use. So like the sound, for instance, right. mm. not many of you, they added that to right. their list of consonants. Uh, but they also, they have three different types of clicks. There's, there's and there's, so you had to wow. know what click you were doing to do the right phrase. It wasn't easy. Ukuba upinde wa kukukumisa, da kukuma apa, kwezi shishlalo. Is she speaking with right? When she wants to. Can you teach us a phrase? Oh, uh, come on! How do you say, let's go Damn get a it. taco? Yeah, right. <laughs> I have so many in my head, but I'm on the spot. Right? Enjoy Endgame? Enjoy Endgame. Can moment. I send this later? <laughs> and you can slot it in. I'll We're say the same the outfit. I can cut out some of them. <laughs> <laughs> As we keep going, I'm going to be thinking on my close up. I know, yeah, yeah. Right, Chris, <laughs> how was filming with the wig on? Yeah, it's pretty frustrating and annoying doing fight sequences with it because it used to just come off. I and remember you always complain about the, the yeah, point the, here. The bit that was glued yeah, on and sort of peel up, and, yeah, yeah. which is why we secretly cut it in the third film because I was just sick of wearing it. Yeah, yeah. But it looked good though. It looked good. It looked good yeah, yeah I might, might get it back. Hey, Jeremy. Yes. How hard was choreographing the hand to hand fight with Black Widow, and how much of it did you get to do? Oh, well, yeah, we did all of it. And it was, uh, it's difficult in the sense of it's, it's pretty physical. Scarlet wanted to do what she could do as well. And we banged each other up pretty good, um, just prepping for it. So we're glad it actually made it into the film because we, we worked pretty hard on it. Chris, Infinity War. How hard was learning to do stunts with an eye patch? Hmm. Yeah. Well, the eye patch was actually CG because we had, um, the eye patch was only put on for the very end of three, and they were still editing that. And as we put it on, it kept falling off, so they'd put dots around my eye and thought, we'll paint it in later. And then we started shooting Avengers. Mm. Yeah, they hadn't decided what it was gonna look like in four yet, so it became three dots, uh, which was lucky for me, because yeah. Oh, yeah, I best. had two eyes, so. so now, how long did you train with a spear to feel really comfortable? Uh, you could ask my neighbors, because whenever I dropped it on the floor in my condo, they'd be like, what the hell? I'm like, I'm trying not to drop it. If you hear me drop it, just pray for me, okay? But no, it was, it was a lot. It was a lot of really cool work. I was working on Walking Dead at the same time. Luckily, they're both in Atlanta, so when I had a day off, I'd go and train. So I had a lot of time of pre-production, and then there was this great room with all of us in there just training in our different ways. So it took a long time, because I had to get the sword out of my head from Walking Dead. And some of the parts of it were the same, and some are so different. And so it was kind of like a mind F. Right. But once I got over that, I don't know, there, there was one day I think I, I, I realized I could do a couple things without them showing me for like an hour. <laughs> you, I was like, oh, I prop? did that myself. Oh, so you know? use a prop or like a PVC pipe or what did you, you use? A, a spear made of vibranium. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very impressive looking thing. I'm not sure what they make them out of. It was a little weightier than what we trained with. So once you started working with the real thing, you're like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's different. Oh, we all know it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was awesome. Jeremy. Yes. Does Hawkeye learn a new fighting tactic for Endgame? I, I can say yes, no. <laughs> I can say nothing. <laughs> Chris, 
Ragnarok. How much of your dialogue did you improvise, or have you ever done comedy improv before? Um, I've done comedy improv kind of on Saturday Night Live. That was my big intro to it. I did that, hosted that show a couple of times. And that was great and so much fun. And, and then I'd done Ghostbusters and Vacation, which I had a fair amount of improv in. And so by the time I'd gotten to Thor 3, Ragnarok, Taika Waititi, our director, oh, is all about improv. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of quite comfortable in doing it. And yeah, yeah the foundation, obviously, Eric Pearson had written this great script for us. Um, but there's a good chunk of that stuff, probably uh, yeah. 30% or something. That's yeah. just whatever we're coming up with at the time. And, and a lot of that improv actually dictated the fact that Tyker's character, Korg, was going to be in the movie more because right. it, was, it just <laughs> became really funny. He's and best, and it was like, we need you in more of this film, Tyker. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> Jeremy, how long did it take to create the airport battle from Captain America? Uh, yeah, I don't know. When was that? A couple of weeks in that tarmac? It was cool because the room was there. But Oh, wasn't there? That's right. Looked out on that one. That was a, that was a hot, hot, really moist, hot. humid few weeks. Yeah. Where was uh, it? It was in Atlanta. Uh, on just uh, this, they built this tight tarmac. It looked like a tarmac. So it wasn't actually at an airport. No, no, it was on it was on, on a lot. Oh wow. Yeah, we got a lot of lightning strikes though, so that gave us breaks. All right. Does Akoye have any new fighting skills in Endgame? Does what? Wait, wait, Any I can't, well, skills. That's, that's a question I can't answer. <laughs> so, that's I'll right. just plead it's the a trick question. Yeah. Thanks, Vanity Fair. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please see our movie Endgame. You won't be disappointed. Of course.